Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if, when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Anyone who can still do exams at school, stay the fuck away from. But... If she's got a PE kit, you can't fuck her. <laughs> That's got to be a rule, hasn't it? <laughs> She played your fucking Frere Jacker afterwards. <laughs> She's got a peek at you, can't fuck her. Hello, welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, and him a fat cunt! I almost feel bad about this intro now, but it's become a tradition. You don't feel bad about it, though, do Not you? Not really, no. no. It's you. No. I yeah. could have opened up to you about my struggles with bulimia. Oh, I'd find that so funny. <laughs> what, like when... Well, because you're not very good at having an eating disorder if you have got one. That's why I struggle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like you do all the binging bit, and then you're like, I'm not going to throw up. It just seems really unnatural yeah. to get my fingers down. Me th- That's it. I binge, and then I go. Uh, you can't uh, get your little sausage fingers down uh, your throat. Oh, I'll just, I'll just, ki- I'll just use my digestion. Yeah, yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah. How are you? I'm all right. Cheers, mate. I'm good. I've had yeah. a good week this week. Have you? Well, I had that good fun. At, like we're filming this uh, a couple of days after our first live show, which was ace. I had that good fun. Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> I cracked a rib. Yeah, he did crack a rib. That was one of my favourite bits. Yeah, yeah, ran into a chair. You know, like a stupid fat knobhead. Yeah, and look, I haven't checked the footage yet, but we did have a camera on there, so I'm pretty sure we oh, will be able to show no. you. Yeah, because I had a camera pointing at those chairs for us, because it was right where oh, we were judging, and it was running hell. all night, even in the breaks. So we're going to have footage of you running into You'll that. You'll get to watch me go, ah. Yeah, he made a really pathetic little noise. Uh. It was amazing. It's like an old dog getting kicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he had to carry on performing. But luckily, Freddie was shit faced, so I barely felt it at the I time. I wasn't shit faced. No, you, was... you were you were merry. Yeah, yeah, I'd had six six ish yeah. maybe. So it's just halfway on the way, innit? it? Yeah. Uh, and then, to be fair, I was up for getting pissed, and then uh, my ribs started hurting loads. So I had yeah. to go home. Yeah, it was fucking fun though. Before you cracked it though, wasn't it? Fun. It was loads of fun. I really yeah. enjoyed it. It was fun. Like I really enjoyed comparing with you. It was fun. That was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. We worked quite well in time them together it did work didn't it because we've done so much of this that it's yeah. you know we it worked. you did maybe 80 percent of the heavy lifting yeah because i was sober and then i <laughs> and then i occasionally jumped in with misogyny yeah freddie <laughs> would just every now and again say something horrifically sexist yeah 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 them tits are horrible anyway <laughs> carry on rob okay well we've got three acts three sections <laughs> yeah i wouldn't fuck you uh, sorry go on go ahead <laughs> and like if you think that's a joke wait till you see the footage on yeah, patreon it's pretty apt apparently i can't remember it, yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think you did say that one of them had. I do think. I do think you told a woman she had shit tits. She might have said that just to me, hopefully. But I do remember you saying that. Did I? Yeah, I don't know if you said it on stage or just to do me. Do you know what? That doesn't sound like me because I'm not a boob man. <laughs> so I think quite a lot of tits are shit. Right. Yeah, I don't like massive tits. There is. There comes a point where there is too much tit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, and also, like, massive tits are not a good long-term investment in a partner. No, right? exactly, like, you know, exactly. That, it's like those bit- stocks are going to fall. Yeah, it's like Bitcoin; they're going down yeah, at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> massive tits are very much a Ponzi scheme. Yeah. It's, the, it's the lunar coin of. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like, I'm, I'm, I, I, I love tits, mate. I'm a big fan. A big fan of tits. Aren't big you? fan of tits, mate. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm all of a bum guy. Right. Love a bum. Big yeah. juicy bum. Wow. <laughs> No, I, don't, I don't look I'm, I'm I also like a bum yeah you know I'm, I'm into all of it you know I just like women oh god well not their personalities yes yeah. thank you, just, you good know, lord just, oh god that's an object obviously yeah. Jesus whoa <laughs> Christ I've seen him as a real person I came across a story uh, this oh, yeah. week that exciting uh, yes yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 I came across a story this week yeah. I have sent you an image I want you to download it oh, yeah, and get have, it up yeah. on the screen alright give me a second so this is a story that I came across, and I thought this would make for some great debate. Okay, that's, um, that concerns me. <laughs> so, this is about a uh, a guy who is a normal, regular fella. Okay, and he, here we go. I've got the picture here. He is with 
that person who, okay. let's be fair, looks like a child. She looks, yeah, like 11, 12 years old. Yeah, and like not even a fit kid. Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what she looked like is, you know, when you've got autism but you don't get any of the good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like not one you could take to the casino. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. Yeah. Um, Just one who, like, you know, if she sees the colour pink, she freaks out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Can't yeah. take her in a shopping centre. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, right, yeah. If yeah. Yeah. Cuts all the labels out of her clothes, one of them. That's it. Right. Uh, she's got a baby there to prove that she's uh, able to reproduce, yeah. I guess. Um, but they're married. Yeah. And the whole story was, I get loads of weird looks and right. people make loads of weird compliments because not my... Not compliments, I assume, comments. No, no comments, not yeah. compliments. Weird compliments. Yeah. She looks fit for a child. <laughs> <laughs> because he looks like a, a normal adult. Eh, and she looks... I mean, he looks very Hitler Youth. Yeah, he, he does look a bit uh, middle-class inbred, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, and she obviously looks like a, a, a child. Yeah. The other similar age... Right. Uh, sorry, the, 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 I, uh, I don't know why I even said that. The, um, she looks 12, yeah. he's an adult, but they're both adults. Right. Now, I have to ask, is this a bit dodge? Well, I would say, if you don't want people to make weird comments about your relationship, maybe fuck someone who looks like an adult. <laughs> I thought you were going to say maybe stay inside. <laughs> I mean, it would be an idea for Darling, them. we can't go outside because people will say things. I mean, it's a hard one because, like, yeah, she's an adult, obviously, and, you know, uh, you know, maybe, you know, they've got this bond with their personalities or whatever, maybe, possibly, but it's weird that you want to fuck the woman who looks like a child. It's just weird, isn't mm. it? Like, I would, yeah, like... No thanks. No, you know. not for you. Nah, adults who look like children, it's too much of it. This feels like a gateway drug. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much the start of a slippery slope, isn't it? Uh. He's going to be banging her neck. <laughs> Working his way through generations. Yeah. So, yeah, so you're saying... So, obviously, there is not actually anything technically morally wrong with this at all. It's but, two adults no, that no, consent. No, it's not technically wrong, but morally... But if it was, say if it was you and yeah. you turned up with her as your girlfriend, I would laugh for the rest of time. <laughs> would you? Why is that? Because you're a big fat nonce. And her, she's... She looks like a child. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, the reason that she looks like a child yeah. is because when she was a child, she had a rare form of cancer uh-huh. that, st- <laughs> that yeah. stopped her from... Kitty cancer. <laughs> stopped her, it stopped her from growing. Right. And it messed up with her growth. Uh-huh. And so the reason that she looks like that yeah. is because she literally had cancer as sure. a child. I mean, the problem is I don't really care why someone looks unfuckable. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 I'm just imagining me right now listening to this in the car in two weeks going, oh, shit. This is definitely going to be one where you text me like, I'm not sure about that. Bit. Yeah, Rob's on his own with that one. <laughs> I thought at that point you were going to say, all right, well, that's... Well, no, it's obviously sad. And look, if they've got a nice relationship, that's lovely. And like, you know, I yeah. hope they're very happy together. Yeah. But you've got to understand that people are going to find it fucking weird. Yeah. You know, so, and he's met her when she looks like a child and he's been like, I want to bang her. Weird. Right. Well, it's I, just weird, isn't I it? I thought you were going to change your mind and you were going to say, yeah. okay, she has a rare form of... Uh, she had a rare form of cancer. She can't do anything about it. That guy's been able to see past him. Good for him. Yeah, sure. Look, the relationship. there is an element of that to it. Yeah. But well, there's also... She looks like a fucking child. There's a third part to this story. Uh-oh. They met... Oh, no. ...when he was in his early 20s mm-hmm. and she was 16. Right, well, he's a fucking nonce then. <laughs> He's a fucking nonce. I think. He's a fucking pedo. I read this. Right, why didn't you bother with the rest of the information? He's a fucking nonce. I read this, and I think that this man is the smartest pedophile in the world. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's a pedo who's found a technicality. <laughs> Do you he's remember? found a loophole. Yeah, I was going to say, you know that uh, that guy that gets celebrities off on speeding yeah, yeah, tickets? Yeah, yeah, he's Mr. that guy. Loophole. He's that guy. She's technically old enough and she's yeah. had a rare disease that makes her look young forever. It's like when, it's like when like, I hate it, when like you, you, you're browsing through a porn site and then like one of the suggested videos... <laughs> then suddenly they'll come at once. <laughs> Sorry. No, like so one of the suggested videos will be the ones where it's like teen porn, which already I don't fuck with anymore because I'm too old for teen porn. Really? I just feel a bit nonsense. 
you know. I'm still on preteen. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, I hate the ones where it's like teen, but it's like teen, and they'll be on like a bed with pigtails and a cuddly toy and like yeah, pop yeah, socks, yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. just trying to make them look like a child. They'll have those big ABC blocks in the background, yeah. and it's like I know what you're doing. Yeah. You make it look. She's an adult, sure. But you're making this for nonces. Yeah. And he is a fucking subscriber. I literally feel the same about vegan food. <laughs> yeah. Like it's technically food. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure that was Alfie Brown's bit at some point. Anyway. Um, he probably did it better. Yeah, he probably did. He's fucking class, isn't he? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this guy's a pedo. Look, show... any, anyone, if you're in your early 20s and you're going out with a 16-year-old, I think you're a bit of a fucking nonce. Yeah, yeah, Because, yeah. like, that is, like, obviously age gaps get less important as you both get older. So the difference, like, a 10-year age gap, if you're 70 and 60, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Yeah, no, it doesn't, no. But... Like an eight-year age gap when one of you is sixteen and the other one is twenty-four, gross. Because I there is think, a big difference between a sixteen-year-old and a twenty-four-year-old. I think age, she's doing a fucking GCSE. I think age gaps do matter. Yeah. I think no matter what age, they, no, no. Do you know what? That's not right. Age gaps don't matter, providing that one of the two is mentally a different yeah. age than what they're at. Right. So I know people, right who are in their early 20s, who physically they're 24. Yeah. Mentally, they're about 46. Yeah, see, like, look, my missus is five years younger than me, far more mature than me. Totally, yeah. totally. And there are these, there are these people who what are I'm like, mad. literally, they're like, I went out partying three times when I was 18, and I think that was enough for me. Yeah, yeah, And they're yeah, just yeah. like, you know, I actually just want a sensible mortgage in a nice... Yeah, yeah. Those now look. If if that twenty four year old gets with a forty year old, it's more understandable. It's because mentally they're on the same age. Yeah. But if it's a normal twenty four year old and a normal forty year old, weird. It's insanity. Yeah. Because a normal twenty four year old is, oh, I've got twenty five quid. How fucked up can I get on that amount yeah, of yeah, money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a normal forty-year-old is how much do I need to put in my pension? Yeah, like I, I you know, you, it's just, you're an entirely different stage of your life. It's weird. You've got no cultural shared references. Even like even the five-year gap, there's stuff that I like reference. And but you'll you always be, you'll always be at that at those different points in your life. Yeah. It'll never just be this one bit. It'll be forever. So a woman reaches her sexual peak yeah. in her like early. 13. Th- in her, in her early 30s. Uh, Strongly disagree. Do you? Yeah. 23. That's when they peak. No, I mean, like, in terms of their desires, their want and desire. Oh, looks, 30 and it's off a cliff. But, <laughs> but their, their sexual desires, right. 33. Right. Now, that 24-year-old and that 40-year-old, he's pushing 50. Yeah, he's going to be knackered. Exactly. And it is one of those things that, look, I get it. I get it, like, look, I, uh, I get it where if you're, like, an older dude, and, like, look, if I suddenly became single in my 40s and, like, a 23-year-old wanted to shag me, I'd find that very hard oh, to Oh, imagine. Down. We're just at two different points in our life, darling. Yeah, but shagging and marrying is two very different things. But I reckon, you know, it starts off as that, and then you're like, I do like pussy that has vaginal elasticity. Do you know what? A friend of mine... Uh, her her fella right mm. uh, left her. She's thirty four, thirty five. Right, left her for an eighteen year old. Oh, he's he's, he's thirty four, thirty five nah. as well. Nah, right, nah, nah, nah. Anyone who can still do exams at school, stay the fuck away from. But if she's got a PE kit, you can't fuck her. <laughs> That's got to be a rule, hasn't it? <laughs> She played your fucking Frere Jacker afterwards. <laughs> She's got a pee kit, you can't fuck her. I think that's fair, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's a fair rule. Oh, fucking hell, you've got a pee kit. <laughs> I think that's a good rule of thumb. I've lost mine, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to do it in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to use some from lost property, darling. <laughs> Otherwise, Rob will stick his dick in you. Why are these pants crispy? Imagine, imagine if that was the threat at secondary school. If they were, if you forget your pee kit again, Rob will bum you. <laughs> I'm just there in the corner of the changing rooms, like you best not forget. <laughs> oh my fucking god! But yeah, she uh, 30, 34, 35, I think. Right, uh, fella left her for an eighteen-year-old, 
and all the girls yeah. were, oh my God, yeah. I cannot even believe that he's done that. Yeah. And all the guys going, yeah, it's a fucking yeah, mystery. Yeah, it's a mystery. It's an absolute mystery, that bloody yeah. hell. Yeah, shit. Sh- what, sorry? Sh- <laughs> Mate, it's yeah. like when Gary Lineker, like he, he got with like a much younger woman, right? It's like his new missus is much younger than him. Right? Wayne Lineker's a fucker for it. As Wayne well. Lineker's a different fucking story. Wayne Lineker is a danger, right? Like is he? he he just like he just like lives in Ibiza, just harassing young women. Essentially, that's his thing, right? He's just into that. Gary Lineker though was married for ages, had a family. They broke up. He got with a much younger woman, but not like not to the extent where it's like she's a child, but there's a big age gap. Yeah. And like there was loads of like uh, I saw like on the time at the time like on Facebook and that there was a lot of like women and now being like I just don't know what he sees in her. I'm just like tight puss. <laughs> he's had years of baggy old puss. Yeah. He's popped his dick in one nice tight new one. You know. He's looked at it. and He's go. But he could snap a crisp in that. <laughs> He just he just pushes a little walkers in between the vaginal lips and it just snaps perfectly and he goes oof. oof. Whereas whereas he's he's actually push just smushes it. It's like when you dunk you dunk it in Dorito salsa, it comes out. But yeah, like, it's like creamy, I get what's creamy s- seasoning it. But I also don't think that's a good uh, basis for a relationship long term. Nah, it's because not, is it? the shag is going to dry up at some point. It's going to become an every now and yeah, again. Yeah, when thing. she becomes like mid to late thirties and he's pushing seventy. Yeah, and then then you've got to like live but, together and be but happy. Then at that point, right, is you just he's get a younger gonna one. die. He's going <laughs> to keep down with yeah. the Leonardo DiCaprio method. Yeah, mate. To be fair, right, so. Like, I I don't mind it, providing everyone's getting something out of it. Sure. Boris Johnson does it. Yeah, Boris yeah, yeah. Johnson's got that fucking Carrie Watts of tits. Yeah. There's no, right, can you imagine if he was just a guy? Exactly. That worked if he was at, just a bloke, he'd yeah. be a virgin. Yeah, oh, mate, absolutely. He's got yeah. like a potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my stone. <laughs> Straight through the window of my little glass house. But like, yeah, he's like, you know, he's not like a fuckable dude, but then, like, power is sexy, and he's got loads of money. So, you know, there's something there, you know, there's some... You think power is sexy? Yeah, massively. Especially for, like, I think especially uh, for women. Do you know what I find fascinating about uh, women's attractiveness and stuff? Mm-hmm. I hear so often from women, I just, I met him, right, and I just didn't, I wasn't into it, right, but then we got talking for like a couple of months or whatever, and he just grew on me, it was just like a thing. Yeah, that does not happen to us. No, it's never, nah. it was, it's honestly, men know within, within the first... Within a millisecond... <laughs> I know if I want to fuck you or not. I've got like, you know when like the Terminator yeah, has those yeah, things yeah. where it's like yeah. safe or a threat. 32B. <laughs> Fuckable. Yeah. Well, yeah. I also have safe for a threat. Yeah. But here's a... <laughs> that I am too. Yeah. But like, here, here's a thing though I realised about myself a while ago, right? Yeah. I can't tell if I genuinely like a woman until I've shagged her. What? Because, like, at that point, all I know is I want a shagger. Right. And afterwards, I can tell whether I want to still talk to her or not. Oh, right. Okay, so what you need is you need the post-nut clarity. Exactly. And you go... I'm going, oh, I really like do her. Do I want this person to fuck off and leave? Exactly. Like, you know, it's like because quite often I'll be like, oh, I think I'm really into her. I really like her. And I'll just be like, ah, sh-. afterwards I'll be like, shit, I just wanted to fuck her. Mm. Yeah. It's a real bad moment realising that. Yeah, but I mean, they'll do the same to you. That's what one night stands are like. Yeah, yeah but like, uh, but it's not quite as much as that. It's like, you know, it's always with uh, women who'd be like, you know, we'll we'll have a few dates first. It's like, you're just prolonging it. Honestly, it'll make it a lot easier if just on the first date we have sex and then we can find out. Yeah, but they have to shag you and so yeah. they want to get at least... Lucky, f- lucky ladies. At least a few meals out of it. <laughs> they at least want to get a few free Nando's. Yeah. They want to get that half chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone still go to Nando's? I, I'd go every now and again, yeah. It's yeah. like Nando's is perfectly fine. I think it just exists. Yeah. Yeah, but I if I'm having no, a but meal, also like 
fucking like lads they go they love a cheeky nando's and footballers surely, like it surely cheeky nando's still isn't a thing mate you underestimate how basic some people are really yeah definitely oh no and like nando's is nice like every time I go to nando's I enjoy my meal I think it's so basic oh yeah it's not like it's not like I'm like oh that's the best thing I've ever had but I've never been to nando's and not enjoyed it you know what I no, mean no but I enjoy it 5 out of 10 I'm um, a bit more than that, I think. I'm Nando's. five out of ten enjoyment yeah. for Nando's. I go, I go like this. I go, oh, okay. it's a little bit overpriced as well for what it is. Yeah, it's like, chicken and chips. They've got a vegan wrap now that's dead nice, but it's tiny and it's eight quid. And I need two of them at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I can't be fucking you know dropping rat- sixteen quid on a Nando's. The Ratatouille seven. I don't even like Ratatouille. I like Ratatouille. Yeah, yeah, but it's just s- mushy veg in it. I'm not that into it. Mushy veg. It is a bit, yeah. Yeah, I think it's nice. All right. I saw the film. was a big fan. Yeah. You won't have seen it, will you? No, I haven't, but um, there's a very funny reference to it in every, Everything Everywhere all the time. I watched that last night. What's that? Oh, it's a new film. It's out in the cinemas. Oh, it's, what's it about? Uh, well, it's like it's a bit Matrixy. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, it's like multi-universe thing and stuff. It's quite interesting. A little bit too long, but yeah. like, there's some good stuff in Do it. you know... Very funny. Some very funny bits in I it. I had a, uh, a an epiphany the other day oh, yeah. uh, about The Matrix... Yeah. Uh, the Truman Show is miles better than The Matrix. The Truman Show is amazing. Yeah, it's miles like like it's literally everything The Matrix tried to be. The first but, Matrix is fucking brilliant, though. but the Truman Show is better. Yeah, so probably like a better like in terms of like story writing and character development and all that. But The Matrix has got some cool shit in it. But the whole is this real life shit. Yeah, that's done way better on the Truman Show. Sure, but the Truman Show doesn't have the lobby scene where they're all flipping about like. I imagine if it did, that'd be fucking sick. If Truman just went mental like flipping round you know, did some bullet, bullet dodging mate bullet time when you first saw that that blew my mind yeah it was yeah. incredible wasn't it yeah do you know what's mad as well is like with those films usually massive big films are fucking poo poo they're yeah. absolutely shit it's very rare you get one that's actually good I'm just getting this off the screen I can't be looking at this cancer ridden child <laughs> <laughs> not the nonce not the nonce no, the nonce is the nonce. fine yeah. Um, but do, yeah, like it's very rare. Do you know what good. I actually watched? Speaking of nonces, oh yeah, I actually watched Some a child pornography. <laughs> 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 sort of like the Matrix because I didn't know whether or not she was alive. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Jesus! Oh dear! What do you want to take I... the blue pill and take that back? <laughs> That's what they said to him, Mum. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Stop. Right, okay. Sorry, so, when Freddie said that a minute ago, it was a different time. Yeah, yes, I apologise. He's going to do better, he's going to do the it learning. It was 35 seconds ago. It was a different time. I have grown You've got to put a, it in the context of the time. I've grown as a person since mm. then, and I'm going to do a comedy special called Sorry, and just obliquely reference it. I've got tickets for Louis C.K., I don't oh, care. Yeah, yeah I bought them. I bought one ticket to see him at the Apollo, yeah. and I had tickets for him the last time that he was over. Yeah. Not asked. You were just you know, hoping he could see him in the dressing room. <laughs> really like Louis C.K. I'm yeah. sorry that he's a bit gross, but I really like him. Yeah. And if he turned around and said, Freddie, come do my tour support, I'd go in a heartbeat. Yeah, like, see, I, I, yeah, I definitely would. I, but like, but, I'd let him jizz on me. Not right. asked. I, I'd definitely do his tour support, but the way I would uh, placate people who were upset about that. Yeah. I've just promised them that I'd keep an eye on him. <laughs> but like, don't worry, I'll make sure. Yeah, yeah. He's not yeah. getting up to out. Not on my watch. Yeah, get it away. So I watched uh, P. Uh, it was a paedophile hunter documentary. Okay. And it was the Stinson Hunter guy. You know the guy that started. Yeah, it all I think off. I've seen that documentary. So he was the first guy. Yeah, yeah. To do the it. OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like the first one through, right? Mm. And the, they set the first half up as this man against the world. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting a cause. Children get abused, and I come and point a camera in people's faces, and you know, oh, hey, not that off. Well, they showed some of the <laughs> hey, you <laughs> cheeky monkey. <laughs> We'll be having less of that, thank hey, you. Hey, keep them sticky fingers to yourself. Lending tears. <laughs> Give your brother a turn. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he. I, they showed the chat logs as well, right? Now I honestly cannot believe that anybody falls for it yeah. because it is literally like, "Hey, you are cute," and yeah. she's like, "Hey, thanks, I'm 13 though," mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh, I don't mind." 
She's like, oh, really? You don't mind that I am a 13-year-old girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you guys like, no, you're quite sexy. She's like, oh, thank you. Do you say that to all the women? Because I am a 13-year-old girl. Yeah. And the girl's like, no, I'd like to kiss your pussy. And it's like, what are you doing, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you... No, what? Um, Child pussy must be great. <laughs> well, it must be. They're dead into it, aren't they? It's the only reason to risk it all. <laughs> like heroin. Yeah, exactly, man. Um, but yeah, the thing was, is they were talking to this woman, right? Yeah. And it was the ex wife of somebody who he'd caught right? right and it showed them catching this guy and this guy was like captain nonchalant do you know what i mean he was like you know oh i'd love to feel your little tits and you yeah. know what whatever. i just thought she had cancer <laughs> oh, god. oh god rob rob why have you chosen violence today i don't know this, this might be the worst episode we've this ever done. might be the worst one yeah. um, <laughs> so she, um, uh, this one was like, you know, and her husband got caught and he only yeah. got caught for a couple of seconds. It was one of those. <laughs> well, that's enough. No, but you know when you get you some... get caught for nonsense at all. No, but you, you know when you get some sometimes where they catch them perfectly. They do like a 40 minute stream. Yeah, yeah. And they sit down and they're like, take a seat, sir. We're yeah. keeping you here for your own protection and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And he, he, the guy's cornered and they get a full half hour out of him. Yeah. This was one of the ones where they spring the trap slightly too early. The guy's slightly too smart and he yeah, gets yeah. back in his car and dodges. Right, right. There's only a minute of him on camera, do you know what I mean? Yeah. He drove away, drove literally uh, to a hardware store. Hardware store? Whatever. Like, I don't know what they call them in England. Like, DIY well, shop, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some uh, rope, Yeah. Uh, tied it round his neck, yeah. tied it to the back of something in the car, nice and tight, Yeah. Uh, and then drove his car off a cliff and killed himself. Wow. Straight away. So so he tied it something outside the car. No, 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 inside the car. Right. But the idea is that when the car crashes he's going to snap his neck. Okay. I, again. He he was taking no chances. Sure. It was like if the crash doesn't kill me, yeah, yeah. the snap will. Sure. Um killed himself straight away. Yeah. Right. Solid now, plan to be fair. If you get caught nonsense well, game over, isn't it? Well, this Nothing, is it. Has, there, has anyone ever had anything good happen to them after they got caught nonsense? Yeah, yeah. you very rarely get like, well, he got caught nonsense, but once he was in I'm a Celebrity, get me out of yeah, here, yeah. his although, career really took off. Well, to be fair, you can carry on going on tour with The Who. Just <laughs> <laughs> say you were writing a book. Who's that? Uh, uh, I, I want to say the right member of The Who. Uh, I think it's... Uh, is it... I think it's Pete Townsend. Okay, well, while you're Googling yeah. that, uh, a member of the Lancashire Hot Pots got caught for being a nonce and killed himself. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? The Hot Pots? Yeah. Novelty Hot Pot Band? Yeah. Wow. I've been to see them live. Yeah, I've seen them live as well. They're, well, at a festival. Yeah. But they're, they're still going as uh, yeah, well. well. Well, not with the... I imagine a different lineup. Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently wow. he did quite a lot of the writing as well, which is why they're shit these days. Wow, so they're the novelty song Lost, Lost Profits? What? Novelty song Lost Profits, essentially, the Hot yeah. Pots, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was... Uh, and, the and... Hot Profits. <laughs> um, yeah, it was Pete Townsend. He got caught with a load of child porn. He said he was writing a book about child porn. Chris Lynham tried to do the same thing. He did, yeah, yeah. He was like, I was researching a role. Um, but yeah, uh, Pete Townsend just got a caution. And then, really? like, several years later, he did release a book. But it's like, all right. That's, oh, mate, mate. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? That's really funny is is when he got caught. He's also the founder of a sexual abuse charity, it says here. Really? Yeah. What does he yeah. <laughs> take picture of the victims? Yeah. He said, he... <laughs> <laughs> we just need to do it for your ID badge. Tops yeah. off. Uh, it's a pretty shaky excuse, if you ask me. Yeah. Do you know what's really funny about that, though, is the idea that he got caught with all the porn mm. or whatever. And he was like, I'm writing a book. Yeah. And they were like, all right, you cheeky scab. He was like, oh, fuck, I've got to write a book. Yeah. <laughs> that was his punishment. Oh, God, I'm going to sit with the editor. Yeah. Such a long process, man. Well, you know, he deserves that punishment, you know, <laughs> to write a novel. Uh, but yeah, the Lancashire Hot Pot guy. Killed, uh, he killed himself yeah. as well. And apparently, they had to be the uh, pallbearers Paul of his funeral. I mean, I'd have refused. Yeah. I don't know. Like, if you got caught noncing, I don't know if I'd... Like, firstly, yeah. I haven't got the strength to carry your coffin. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to make you in my will the sole pallbearer. Soul pull I've just got to drag. But you. there's no coffin. You just have to. I've just got to put fireman's carry. No, <laughs> I was thinking more of a burlap sack. Right. Yeah. With yeah. my head popping out, and right. you've just got to. <laughs> well, it's going to be a long fucking funeral. It's going to take me a while to get up them steps. <laughs> But no, I think if any of my mates got caught being a pedo, I don't think I'd want to be involved in the... I'd right. be like, just fucking cremate them, innit? Here's a question. Why are you burying them? Here's a question. Yeah. Which one of your mates, don't say me, uh-huh. is most likely to be a pedo? Well, okay, apart from you. Right, apart from me. Ooh, who's most likely to be a pedo? Ooh, it's a, it's a tough one, that, isn't it? Yeah. Have you got an idea? No, I'm thinking. Mm. I'm thinking now. Yeah. I don't think I'd say you. Nah. I'd say... Um, who would be most likely? I'm least likely to be a pedo because I've got the uh, uh, CBD certificate, haven't I? What's CBD? Do you uh, mean DBS? DBS, yeah. yeah. But that just means you haven't been caught. Exactly. Yeah. Because I'm not a pedo. Loads of pedos <laughs> haven't been caught. Yeah, but... Yeah, but look... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. I couldn't just, think, oh, fuck off. I couldn't think of anything. Oh, oh fuck, fuck off. Um... Yeah, it's, it's well. The thing I is, I think Dan Nightingale. Nice. I'm joking. I'm joking. Obviously not. Get other word fans in the fucking yeah. comments. But the thing is, with you know, with those pedo hunters, yeah. it always sat weird with me because it always made me think, like, at what point is this crossing a line? When you fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant because because there's some there's some of them yeah. that um are like you know. <laughs> They're trying to do it, but but I think there's some that do it for clicks. Oh, and you know most when I them. see the ones, yeah. you know when you see the ones with like autism. You yeah. know that one with so the bald nonce that gets yeah. put down, and he's like, you you've ruined my holiday. Yeah, you know yeah, that yeah. kid. He has defo. The defo got autism. There's there's a lot that clearly have either like you know fairly severe autism or like some other like mental condition or whatever. There's a lot of that, and I do think in general like the pedo hunting thing. Whilst I, I get that, look, the police aren't doing enough and pedoing is the worst thing. Pedoing? It's the worst thing. Doing? Yeah, pedoing. Pedoing. But <laughs> it's not the best method because, yeah, there's loads of, like, there are innocent people who've been fucked up by them. They've had videos splashed all over and it turned out, you know, it wasn't what they were saying or they've got the wrong person or someone's mentally ill and they've entrapped them. It's like a lot of the time they are, you know, people who've done nothing else ever and they've sort of been... Yeah, yeah, worked yeah. into it. I th- Obviously, you know, don't have a chat with a fucking underage person online. But if you like, people, there's people with diminished responsibility. Yeah. I think there's a, I think that there is a difference between um, uh, somebody who is a pedo yeah. and somebody who is a vulnerable, lonely person who is really easily manipulated. Mm-hmm. Who you go, I'm fifteen and a half, but it'll be fine. Yeah, and it, it, there is a lot of that where it's like they're fifteen, but like, but like they say they're fifteen, but sixteen soon. Still, don't think an adult should be going out with a fifteen or sixteen year old. I don't either. But, but if you're, if again, if you have diminished responsibility and you are vulnerable, yeah. and you get talked into it. It's like they're essentially like, ha ha, we've tricked a disabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, and there's uh, there's there's some fucking poor disabled kid that's and you can tell when they're freaking out because their head starts going well you would yeah like it's worst case scenario if you're off to bum a kid and like you know first thing if they ask to meet outside an aldi don't go no all right you know you're gonna be you're getting pedo hunted yeah 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 they should they should know the clues yeah but like you know if you turn up and see that i'd definitely top myself would you if i was a nonce and i got busted by pedo hunters Lights out, mate. That's the game's up. The jig is up. What else would make you kill yourself? Is it just, just that? instantly? Yeah, like, like, like. What are the bits for you where mm. you go? That's it. I'm done. Um, if I had that trapped in syndrome, you know, where people get trapped in the body, it gets oh, paralysed, but their yeah. brain still works. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Done. I'd ride it out for a little bit. As soon as it started to get to a point where I could feel my ability was going to a point where I was going to get locked in. Yeah, I reckon I'd just. Like, I'd definitely be up for, like, euthanising myself if I had, like, a bunch of different conditions. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Like, I, I don't, I, you know, personally, I don't think I'd want to ride it out if I was going to have no quality of life. Like, you know, I've enjoyed my life up to now. I don't yeah. need a horrible bit at the end. I'll just knock it off. Yeah. If they turn around and sort of said, listen, the next part of your life is going to be incredibly painful. You're just going to be sat in a bed, shitting yourself in horrible pain. Yeah. And that's why you... you say I, goodbyes, have one last big party... Yeah. That's I, what I'd do. I mean, I probably wouldn't come, but... 
That'd be so bad if you got no one turns up to your death party. <laughs> Yeah. It's not like you're going to be asked in three months. Chill like, out. I'd have a fucking drink at that party. Yeah. Why not? Oh god, yeah. I'd be on everything, mate. And do, do you know what? I, I I reckon people would buy you drinks as well. Yeah, mate. People would be lining up Jaeger bombs. He's yeah. not drank for thirty years. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You can get me back next year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll get the next round. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. I've always thought that I'd probably like uh, euthanize myself if I got yeah. a bunch of shit. What about homelessness? I think I would still try and get my way out of that. I think if I was made homeless yeah. and I was like, it was going to be months, there was nowhere for me to go, nothing for me yeah. to do, I think that would be a point for me. Well, I've been functionally homeless before. No, 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 no. But like no, no, sleeping no. on sofas, I'd spent, I spent... Yeah, but that's the, not the well, homelessness no, the, I'm talking there about. There was a point where I would stay up all night and then sleep in the park in the day for about a week. Really? Yeah. So a week I'd stand. Yeah. Um, and like, I, I knew I had a place coming so I could just about get through it. But I was homeless at that point, you know. Right, okay, but I'm talking proper into properly. It. Yeah, yeah. There's nowhere for you to go. Yeah, yeah. There's no fucking like because it's such a trap. It's like when you, when you're like, oh, I'd get myself out of it. It's like fucking how yeah. you can't get a job because you don't have an address or a bank. Account. You can't get a bank account because you haven't got an address. You know, there's all these things you just can't do. Yeah, you know, it's uh, like yeah, it's a fucking trap. I reckon I just get dead into spice. No, because you see that drug and you're yeah, like... fucked, isn't it? Absolutely fucked. Yeah, it's like the worst shit. Yeah, it's so bad. Like, yeah. like, like you... And the thing is, every time that they ban it, the fucking manufacturers go, we're going to change one molecule. Well, like, the thing is that there is a law that covers all psychoactive substances now, so it doesn't matter if you change a molecule or not, it's still illegal. Oh, really? But what happened was, when they made spice illegal, like, it used to be sold, um, the liquid was, like, um, it absorbed into, like, a tobacco-like substance. So you would buy it and sprinkle it into your cigarette. It was like, it was like a bit of weed or a bit of tobacco. You put it into your cigarette. But when it became illegal, it became inefficient to sell it like that. So they started selling it as just the pure liquid. So people would put more into it because they would just dripple it onto a cigarette or whatever. So it became much stronger and much worse. Oh, my God. And like, the only reason it exists is because weed is illegal. Yeah. It was, it was a, a developed as a synthetic cannabis, and they fucked it. Oh they my actually God. made a slightly worse heroin. So well done, science. Yeah, it's it's... I mean, I know that for you, I think you've said before, haven't you, that drug laws in this country should just be like... Uh, legalise everything. Absolutely everything should be 100% legal. It's a, like Addiction is a medical problem and you can't legislate it away. And making drugs illegal just makes everything worse. So if you're making it legal, uh -huh. are you? where'd you buy it? Where'd you get it? Well, like I, I, there's various different models you can do. Like, Darling, when you're going shopping, can you pop down and get us a heroin, please? So you don't make it that fucking easy. So like in Switzerland, the way they do it, they have clinics where you can go shoot up and like they have like clean medical centers where they'll give you a needle and like be like don't share a needle is a clean one but you have to like queue up and it's like very medical and it's run by the state and heroin use fell through the floor because suddenly it didn't look cool and edgy and like rock and roll to be on smack it was just these old smackheads queued up outside this clinic so like i think you, you make it like that i think with like those sort of drugs you know because the people who are doing it are gonna do it anyway yeah. You might as well make it safe and clean and like take all that money out of like uh, criminal organisations as well. I just, think, uh, I just think drug laws cause loads of harm. Because mm. obviously you don't want people doing smack, but they're gonna. And it's worse if it's unregulated. Because what kills people with smack isn't the smack. It's like, cause it's actually a very, it's actually, it doesn't really do any damage to you physically, heroin. It's actually very like clean in that way. But what does do damage is the stuff it's cut with. And then what kills people is they suddenly get a dose of pure heroin. So they're used to having like cut heroin constantly. And then one batch will just be really pure and they'll shoot the same amount and that'll give them an overdose so it's people not knowing what's in the drug that kills them wow yeah. thank you very much it's all right occasionally this is educational thanks for another episode of talk to frank <laughs> do you remember that talk yeah, to frank yeah, yeah. i know uh, if you want uh, some advice about drugs call 63739 yeah, yeah, yeah. and talk to frank drug advice in this country is also well fucked like the advice that i got at school is the reason i did loads of drugs at school what was the advice you got so they were basically like all drugs are dead bad if you smoke cannabis it will kill you it was yeah. all that sort of shit yeah yeah yeah. I so i smoked well. weed once and i was like oh this is nice and very gentle and I was like, oh, so if they're talking shit about this, I wonder if they were talking shit about ecstasy. I you know, remember, and I went like that. I remember that we had like a little talk or whatever, and someone was like, 
Uh, what do you kids think is the most dangerous drug? Yeah. And everyone was like, heroin. And he was like, no. And someone was like, oh, like crack cocaine, maybe. It's like, no. It's like, Crystal meth? No. Anyone? Anyone else? And we're all stumped. And he goes, well, the dangerous drug of all is actually alcohol. And I remember oh, yeah. thinking, oh, fuck off. Thing is, like, whilst you might have that initial reaction, he is right. He's not, though, is he? Well, he is. He's not. 75% of violent crime in the UK is alcohol related. Okay. That's a big danger. Yeah, but... Also kills about 40,000 people a year. But... Cannabis has never killed a single person. But... All right, yeah, weed is obviously safer, yeah. but heroin is worse than alcohol. And I'll tell you for why, is because everybody drinks, yeah. and most people are fine. Yeah, but are whereas, most British people whereas, fine? Whereas... Like, are there, there's, there's mobile triage centres in every single city in the but, UK on a Friday night because people will die if they don't get immediate medical attention Preston, because they've had too many WKDs. Preston have got street pastors that exactly. hand out toast. Mate, the, the way British people drink is fucked. And look, if you don't have a problem with alcohol, fucking enjoy it. I miss it. It was a lot of fun. I don't miss it that much, to be fair. But... Like, what is considered normal drinking in the UK is not fucking normal. The, um, the, uh, the street pasta thing I never understand. Yeah. Like, oh, Why the- do I want a lasagna in the street? <laughs> oh, God. Look past the joke. <laughs> I, uh, I I never understand the hot because it's like all yeah. religious, isn't it? Yeah, it's all like Christian. I never yeah. understand the thing like you know what I've had one too many Jaeger bombs and I um, converted to Christianity. No, it's, it's because just... uh, religious people prey on the vulnerable. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. how they that's how they convert people. So they look for people in low ebbs, people who are sat crying in their own vomit. And they're yeah, like, hey, if you come to Jesus, you won't feel sad, and their conversion rate is incredibly low. But they will get one eventually. Did I ever tell you about the time in college when I pretended to be religious to try and have sex with a deaf girl? <laughs> this is like it's like he did a mad lib with a Freddie Quinn story <laughs> so um, there was a girl in college oh father who are in heaven not far off um, she was so fit she was- yeah. I I, uh, I nearly got tricked by a fit Mormon once did you? In town. You know, they were like, you know, when they're in town with the leaflets. Yeah. I was like, fuck, you know. And I, sort of, I, I, I had a little chat with her for a second. I was like, I need to get out of this. I'm going to be a Mormon. <laughs> to just, like, leave. They're not, they're not known for being good in bed, are they? No, this is it. I think I was going to get catfished there. Yeah. But she was fucking gorgeous. Was she? Anyway. That's why they got her... Uh... Yeah, that's why she's out in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to be one of the go-out women. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Rather yeah, yeah, yeah. Than, you know, you're a stay-at-home woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah. Father John, why don't I get to go out with Stephanie? Because you look like a fucking rock. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this deaf girl. So this deaf girl. What right. kind of religious was she? What's uh, Christian, like Catholic. Right, okay. So uh, I got talking to her. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but she, she, so she was deaf, yeah. but she wasn't like right. So could she could she hear a little bit? Like, she could hear bit. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And when she talked, she sort of sounded like she was uh, sort of in a swimming pool. Right. Do you know? So it was a bit like, like behind glass. Hello, like yeah, that. Yeah, just okay. a little, just a little nasally. Yeah. Hello, it's nice to see you again. You, you what? And that did it for you. She was so fit. Yeah. Uh, and I, this is going to probably shock you. Yeah. Uh, but when I was a teenager, I wasn't that good looking of a lad. No, I wasn't. You? I didn't really get much attention, no. You didn't You didn't get a lot of female attention when I was a teenager? Didn't, no. Wow, what is wrong with those bitches? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I know, because as an adult, I'm yeah. swimming in tang. Swimming in tang. <laughs> what? Just going to let that sit in the air for a second. <laughs> Continue. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so she, hello, you know. Um, and we got talking and you know whatever and she was talking about church and I was like oh I love going to church <laughs> can't she, get enough of the body of Christ mate yeah and she's like oh what's your church and I was like oh fucking the St Mary's yeah St Mary Magdalene's of the Holy the God ho- the Holy Heart our Father who art in heaven hello be thy name of the Holy Spirit yeah. have you heard of it no not heard much <laughs> um, <laughs> so um she was so beautiful. Um, and she said, oh, well, why don't you come along to my church? And I was like, yeah, I could do that. And then maybe afterwards we could have a coffee and whatever. Disappoint and she, your Lord. She was, yeah. 
And she was like, yeah, okay, sweet. And so I actually picked her up. I, I picked her up from her house, yeah. right? And How did you let you know she, that you were there? You are? How did you let her know you'd arrived? <laughs> Got to send a text out. You can't sit here beeping the horn. No, 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 no. I, um, uh, you, you whisper in the dog's ear. <laughs> then the dog comes and licks, licks her face. Right. And she goes, someone at the door? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the night before was Halloween, right? Okay. And I've been out the night before dressed as Nosferatu. Right. right? And I had, like, green and grey face paint on and, you know, whatever. And I'd gotten shit-faced, right? And uh, it was literally, I probably got home at about four in the morning. Church notoriously starts early. Yeah. But I was like, I'm just doing it. So I rock up to the fucking house, stinking of fucking alcohol with a killer fucking hangover, right? And she gets in the car and immediately, obviously all the other sentences are heightened. So immediately she's like, (laughs) but she can smell booze, but she's not quite. She's getting a head start on the blood of Christ. (laughs) She's not. Yeah. Yeah. I have the body of Christ every day. Why don't you come on? Um, She was like, but she she can't quite put a finger on tequila and vodka. I mean, because she's a good Christian girl. Yeah. And so she's. Like this. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I've come to pick you up for church. And she's like, great, let's go. And so we go and we sit for an hour during church. And it was fucking torture. Yeah, I've been Just to church. total bollocks that Awful. I don't believe in at all. Yeah. I'm actually morally objected to as much as anything else. I don't yeah. like it. I don't find anything. What's wrong with the Catholic Church? Nothing. Okay. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm actually morally against it on many reasons, and uh-huh. not just the child rape. Um, just the That's way... their one redeeming feature. <laughs> yeah, the way that they indoctrinate people, I, I don't like. And I don't like the... Look, I think that the church is great in terms of the fact that it makes people nice, generally speaking. If it, it makes can. you a nice if it makes you a it nice can. person, fine. It depends how people use religion in it. It's not a blanket thing. For some totally. people, they're like they're they're dead into their religion, so they'll go and open a soup kitchen and look after people and yeah. they're lovely, Great. brilliant people. Well done. I'm Great. on board with it. But some people use it to persecute other people or start a little war or, you know, Egg. ethnically cleanse an area. Exactly. And that's yeah. I, I don't like that. And and the fact that it's so open to interpretation yeah, is yeah, yeah. it bothers me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm sat listening to like oh and as john the baptist said in matthew three fifteen. well john would say it in john wouldn't he well he, that's how the books work no he pops up in various yeah sure but like you know if he was saying it he'd say yeah, it but he, was, he was jesus's best mate wasn't he yeah <laughs> should probably say it in john yeah yeah well because anyway. he, he, like he wouldn't you wouldn't say as g as he said in matthew would you i wasn't listening rob well, this is clearly <laughs> you should have paid more attention so I'm watching this, and she keeps looking over at me, yeah. right? And <laughs> she looks over at me. Well, this is it. And I thought that she was looking at me. Like, you know how sometimes when you do a gig and somebody's laughing, but then they look to see if the rest of their party are laughing Sure, as well? sure. Like, or if you're, like, watching a film that you really like and you're showing it to someone that, you, you know, your mate yeah. or your girlfriend, and you're like, oh, are they liking this Are they scene? liking this? Do they like it? Do they like yeah. it? So I'm trying to like it. I'm like, hey, this is, oh. This Jesus fella sounds swell. This is some good church, baby. And then um, the the thing ends. And I'm like, so should we get some coffee? And she said, oh, I've got, I've got to get back home. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, okay, no worries, right? So Fumbled the bag. Well, we get back home, right? And um, I messaged her and um, I said, you know, like, look, Really like you. Would love to take you out again sometime. Do you know what I mean? Maybe we could go to church. Maybe we could do something not gay. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know. (laughs) And she sent me a really sweet thing back. Mm -hmm. Uh, She said, "Um, uh, you seem like a really nice guy, but I'm sorry, my heart belongs to another. Right? Which I thought was quite a sweet way of saying fuck off, you fat cunt. Is it Jesus? (laughs) <laughs> but right uh, I was like oh I was like well that's the end of that at least I know now do you know mm-hmm. what I mean at least I don't have to be, pretend to be Christian for yeah, yeah. however long this plays out for when you look like me you've got to get used to taking rejection haven't you, you uh, yeah take a few you really got to roll with it anyway right I get in and I'm like oh god I feel like shit I need to have a shower man I've not had a shower today because I got home in fucking four hours got into the bathroom got in to get ready into the shower looked at my neck 
and there was full grey green face paint from the Nosferatu the night before and that's what she'd been fucking staring at all day she must have thought it was like a skin condition <laughs> or if you were like you, you had like necro like what's it called like necrotic <laughs> cysts <laughs> praise be Jesus Jesus please heal him cure him cure him of this weird grey neck. oh no take me to a faith healer <laughs> we got some boy right up in here we're necrotizing fasciitis, and we're going to praise the Lord out of him. Jesus be his name. Wow. So, to be honest, it's a good thing for everyone involved in that story that you did have that face paint on. Because she was never going to shag you if she's Christian. Yeah. You know, you're just going to string out for ages, get really frustrated. And like, wasn't Blue ball myself. Blue ball yourself. Yeah, but she... W- right, okay. So, she was so beautiful, though. What a beautiful, beautiful woman she was. Sure. Like, absolutely stunning. But what's the point in having a Ferrari if you can't take it for a drive? (laughs) And if the engine doesn't make a noise... (laughs) If the engine makes a noise but it's an octave too high... So I I absolutely wouldn't... Driving it down the motorway. I, so I absolutely would not give a shit about dating someone deaf. Like that's fine. No, I, I don't wouldn't, care. I wouldn't care less. Christian is a different story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's that girl. Oh god, what she fucking called? She was on, I think, Strictly. Maybe she's oh, fucking right. beautiful. I think another one. She's got like yeah, yeah. something uh, double barreled surname. Yeah, yeah. Th- that's a name. If she's posh as well, that's double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She. I, I don't have any problems at all. Nah, I wouldn't give a fuck about. I'd that. actually quite like to learn sign language, but it's stupid and too hard. Yeah, just watch Mister Tumble, mate. You know. Does that have sign language on it? Yeah, that's like the thing they like teach kids sign language on, Mr. Tumble. Do they? Yeah. Oh, that's really sweet. It is sweet. I had no it? idea because I don't watch children's shows. Cause yeah, anymore. Anymore. <laughs> what What did you used to watch when you were a kid? Were you SMTV Live or Live and Kicking? BDSM. To watch, did you? No, I live and kicking, mate. I was, I was, your quite... mum left the door open, did she? I was, I was such a little dork when I was a kid. I just like, for some reason, I, th- I like, I've always, I don't know, I was like, oh, ITV's like the, the corporate bad ones with adverts. I'll stick with the be- with Auntie Beeb. Oh, god, even as a child, you were a knobber. Yeah, I was a proper little cunt. Yeah, I, just, I was, I was purely BBC. Mate. I was SMTV like... live, it was miles better. Yeah. Live and kicking was the one that everyone thought something was going to happen every week, but nothing ever happened. Whereas SMTV Live was carnage, and it had Ant and Deck, and it had Cat Dealey. Yeah, I don't like Ant and Deck. And it had Wonky Donkey, which was very funny. Yeah, I'd watch it occasionally. I wasn't, that, you know, I don't think I was that militant, but yeah. You didn't have any brand loyalty. I had a bit, like I say, I, skew, I definitely skewed BBC in my general watching habits. Did you? You know, uh, yeah. And what did you guys watch, guys? Tell us in the comments. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking hamstrung into there, wasn't it? Yeah. You got any videos? Oh, I might do. Yeah, let's end with a video or two. Let's have a little look and see what I've got. You've got to get to a gig tonight. Where are you off to? I'm off to Bolton Octagon Theatre. And uh, they've made me fill in a load of paperwork. So oh, I saw I saw the thing that they put on social media, man. It was so funny. Oh, that was dead funny. So, like, um, so they, they, they posted. So, tonight I'm on with Jojo Sutherland, one of my, like, we've got to get her on here, Jojo. Yeah. We've got to, like, sort that. She's fucking class. Yes. I love Jojo. She's, like, a real mate. We always, like, have a great time. Yeah, she's out. very funny. And um, she's a killer headliner. You know, yeah. she's, she's headlining tonight. And someone underneath it commented, like, oh, I can't... Remember. She's actually a Lib Dem MP for Bolton, <gasps> turns out, or councillor or whatever, who really? commented. Really? And they were like, um, I'm going to come in future, but can you uh, maybe get some women? Because it seems yeah. like it's all male lineups. It's literally under a picture of JoJo for, for headlining. For the next few months. Yeah. And, yeah. and also, I looked, and, like, the, the bills aren't full. Like, they've just got a couple of people booked. They haven't booked the yeah. whole lineup. And like it was literally under a photo of the female headliner who's on tonight, headlining above all the men. It's like pick your fucking battles. But but they responded, didn't they? And they were like, oh, did they? Too, ba- "Too bad you can't come tonight." Yeah, when we've got a female headliner. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. It's like what people don't understand is there are more gigs than there are female comedians. Yeah, yeah like yeah, just, yeah. eventually it will even out and brilliant. But, but for uh, now, also as well, what a mad thing to complain about. Why aren't there any women on the ambiguous dates which I've set out? Yeah, yeah. It's not even like you've gone, I'm coming in September, can you make sure? Yeah, it's yeah. like, I'm going in a few months maybe at some point. Yeah, fat out. People will literally complain about fucking anything. Yeah, totally. Except this, apparently. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think they just realise there's no point. Yeah. Again, it's picking your battles, isn't it? So what's going to happen if you complain to us? You know, 
I don't think it's uh, going to be, you know, it's not going to be... I can't wait for our first complaint. Oh, me neither, mate. I'm dead excited. Um, right, I've got a couple of little fun ones. This one was sent to me, uh, and they were like... Uh, they, 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 they were like... They described this as Chekhov's shotgun. <gasps> but we all know what Chekhov's gun is. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, oh wait a minute. So, th- wait a minute. Hold up. So, this is a lady in a full gimp suit and yeah. mask. But with a hole cut out for her buttocks, <laughs> and that it? is a enormous red dildo. Like enormous, it, it like is, Chekhov would be fucking proud. It's honestly humongous. It's, like he can't get his hand all the way around it. No, no, it's a two hand job. No, it. it how big is that? Do you reckon? Uh, it's like six liters. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's way bigger than a two bit, two liter bottle of pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's. Yeah, it's probably yeah, four to six litres, I'd say, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, oh. It's <laughs> a great edit. Yeah, 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 that's brilliant. Oh, he's just pushing it inside of yeah, her. Yeah, and he's got it, like, sort of strapped to himself. Is it even going in? I don't even... I mean, a bit of it is. But a lot of it's wasted. This is not necessary, is it? This is how the Teletubby shag... This is Tinky Winky. Gonna no- see his tubby custard in a minute. Fucking getting knobbed by Poe. Jesus. And it's in Vag as well. I wanna see I wanna see, the I wanna see some prolapse. Out. Yeah, I wanna see. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, pull it out. Oh, no. Oh, he's still. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, she stood up. Oh, probably not a great idea. Probably want to stay at the angle you're at. And she's wearing a corset as well. Christ above. Yeah, Jesus. You don't want that getting tighter, do you? It just on, looks ridiculous. Out, I know. It's just like cartoon shagging. Pull it out. Come on, pull it out. What the fuck? Oh. Oh no, we didn't get to see. Uh, we didn't get now you see view. the thing is with Oh, Ch- here we go. Oh. 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 oh, oh no, there's the view. Okay, there's we... the. Oh my god. Wow. It we... looks like Billy Bear. <laughs> I was gonna say the exact same it thing. It does, done it. Wow. Oh, that is fucked up. Wow. Oh Christ. Imagine that on a sandwich. Oh mate. Oh, that is one of That's... the worst looking badges I've ever seen. Absolutely horrific. It doesn't even look like a vag, does it? It looks like an oyster. <laughs> it looks like what's that Pokemon called? That's like the the oyster I Pokemon. I don't know, mate. Oh, it's bad that isn't it. Cloyster, I think. Oh, oh. horrific, horrific. Oh. Wow. There just there, there just is a limit to how big a dildo you should put in yourself. That's just look at that as well. I'm not I'm not being horrible or anything, yeah. but if you look at the top of her fingers, that's blood stained. That <sighs> there's going to be some tearing. There's definitely some tearing involved in what this. What an odd, odd, odd. And also, why would you do it on a cream sofa? Yeah, that seems like poor planning. That's silly, isn't it? Yeah, do it in the bathroom. Bloody naked Martin would never have that shit going on. No, exactly. On. He, he's a man who knows cream what he's fucking sofa, doing. Cream sofa, my ass. Go on. Right, uh, this one. Here we go. Just got a little fun one for you. Okay, just stop this. This is a... <laughs> uh, what? Oh, my God. So it's a bunch of Shaolin monks. Yeah, yeah, some sort of like Buddhist temple monkey sort of thing. One of them's naked and just swinging. Well, so no, the naked guy has attached to his dick and balls, like, they look like uh, boxing wraps, like, you know, big thick bits of material. And there is another dude hanging off it, swinging his full weight off the dick of Now, balls. I know, I know that the... I really uh, hope that music was already on this, because otherwise it's racist. <laughs> yeah, and that's a line we don't cross on we this do podcast. We do not cross. Um, I know that the Shaolin monks, one of the reasons that they practice in the way that they do, they actually really practice groin strikes and stuff like that. Sure. Because in a fight, you're going to get kicked in the bollocks sometimes, yeah, 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 yeah. and you need bollocks of steel. Well, and sometimes your car gets stuck in a ditch and you've got to pull it out. <laughs> Learn this technique, son, and you will never need green flag again. Stretch the dick, stretch the dick. So there you go. That's fucking... Why would you need, like, in a fight? I know, I can't think of any single circumstance where that would become useful. I have the strongest dick. Do you reckon he can still get it up? 
No. Not for a while afterwards, anyway. No, I reckon it just looks like tape. It's going to be fucked. I do want to see a picture of his dick and balls afterwards. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who... Do, what, why do we right? Okay, send us more videos of these in. Oh seven five two oh six double four nine three one. I'm almost getting sick of seeing disgusting porn. Yeah, look, we'll never we'll I, never fully tire of it, but send us weird weird shit. Yeah, I want to see death. Not death. Right, injuries fine, but no one dying. All oh, right, I want to see injuries, like, and then I want to see a Photoshop of a of a certificate of life. No, that's not right. We'll just see ones where they clearly don't die, because like it, it upsets me when I see yeah. the death ones. I want to see more injury ones. Injury ones, well up for just weird shit. It doesn't have to be porn. Yeah, it can be. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Just send us weird shit like that will confuse now, and delight us. Our other rules is no racism, no kids, and no uh, animals. No animals. So let's talk about getting rid of those. <laughs> I think we're going to keep those ones. Yeah. Although we have said if you can get all four in. Yeah. If you get a, a royal flush, we might consider it. That's fine. That's yeah. absolutely fine. Yeah. Also, as well, sign up to our Patreon. Yeah. Uh, if you don't, you're a little bitch. It's it's three quid a month, right? And for that, you get access to watch all the videos that we've seen in the uh, in the Discord server. I Jesus. said videos then, I and then I had a, and then I had a, uh, I had a, a, a what do you call it? A, a Pavlovian reaction. Yeah. Um, sign up. Don't keep doing this because it annoys the shit out of me. I know that's why I like doing it. No, don't because. Oh fuck, cunt. Right, okay. Sign up to the Patreon. It's three quid a month, and for that, you get loads and loads of extra stuff. You get. <laughs> Stop it. We get all the stuff now that um, uh, you, you get all the content and stuff. We make special content for this. Rob's punishment set. I wrote a set for him that he had to do. All of our live stuff and things like that. All the live roast shows that we do, which are carnage, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three quid. And you get an extra episode, an extra Patreon episode. We're actually hoping to, fingers crossed, we're hoping to move to a new studio next week. Uh, next week. next In the Soon. next month or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, If we can go ahead and do that, it'll mean that we get so many more options about the sort of stuff that we record, yeah. how regularly we record. It, it just opens up a load more opportunities to us. And you guys will have made that happen because it's your Patreon money that helps us to grow this. Yeah, and it's definitely not it. sponsors. Not touching us with a shitty stick. Not, and by God, do we have some videos of shitty <laughs> sticks. <laughs> We uh, don't. We're not going to get sponsors for this. If we do, I'll be fucking amazed. I mean, uh, we'd love to. If you, for some reason you want to sponsor us, fucking go for oh, it. Oh, we'd love to. And don't get me wrong, I will do the best ad read you've ever had in your fucking life. Yeah. Well, I will undermine it at every turn. Just yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll be me going. Uh, so, manscape.com. Yeah. Razors that help your balls. <laughs> Just be that. It'll be yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. carnage. Uh, so please, uh, if you're enjoying it, sign don't up buy Patreon. anything from Manscaped yet, though, because they're not paying us. So, uh, don't buy from them. A thousand people on the Patreon already who are just like you, and our Discord community. By is... that we mean simple. <laughs> our Discord community is also full of like-minded individuals. There's yeah. over a thousand. You can people get on that there. for free if you're a proper poverty pen person. Get on the Discord for free. Still, you can still come and you can have out a chat with us. with us all and stuff. And we drop in from time to time. I'm very rarely in it because I I, I, I pop in because it's very fun. It. I read, I stalk it. Oh, often. mate, do you go in the fan art bit? Yeah, it's great. I go in the fan art bit and I'm like, my God, there are some talented stick individuals. Yeah, like it's generally like, we need to tweet more of that stuff because yeah. it's fucking and great. And they work quick as well. Yeah, they really turn it around. They're like, so like Amish. I just, the, the reason I don't uh, post that much is because I just get sucked into it and I lose three hours. Yeah. Like, because like, it's dead good fun. So I do go and have a little look though. Uh, but yeah, sign up to all that, sign up to our Patreon, and hopefully, uh, if you're not mentally scarred by yeah. then, when we will see you again next week. And also, one more thing, fuck off. <laughs>